Question number 146. Which of the following is not included in post-fertilization events? Gastrulation is a post-fertilization event as gastrulation is the formation of germ layers. So this is incorrect. Number 2, cleavage also incorrect as cleavage occurs after the zygote is formed. Number 3, embryogenesis also incorrect as formation of embryo also occurs after formation of zygote. Number 4, gametogenesis is correct as gametogenesis is formation of gametes which occurs prior to fertilization. So the correct answer becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question. Question number 147. During embryonic development, embedding of blastocyst into the endometrium of uterus is termed as Number 1. Insemination is incorrect as insemination is the deposition of semen in the female reproductive tract. Number 2. Implantation is correct as implantation is the embedding of blastocyst in the endometrium. Number 3. Gestation is also incorrect as gestation is a term given to embryonic development which occurs after implantation. Number 4. Parturition is also incorrect as parturition is childbirth. So the correct answer becomes option number 2. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 148. The source of all germ layers in the embryo is or are. Number 1. Hypoblast is incorrect as hypoblast and epiblast are formed as a result of differentiation of germinal disc. The epiblast derived from the inner cell mass is the source of all germ layers. Number 2, trophoblast is also incorrect. Trophoblast cells in contact with embryonal knob are called cells of rubber. Number 3, inner cell mass is correct as epiblast derived from inner cell mass is the source of all germ layers. Number 4, cells of rubber is also incorrect as these are trophoblastic cells. So the correct answer is option number 3. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 149. Which pituitary hormone influences functioning of sustentacular cells? The sustentacular cells are sertoli cells or supporting cells or nurse cells which provide nutrition to the growing spermatozoa. Let us see which pituitary hormone influences them. LH that is luteinizing hormone is incorrect as luteinizing hormone influences the cells of leading to release testosterone. Number 2 prolactin is incorrect as prolactin is the hormone which stimulates the formation of milk in mammary glands. Number 3 growth hormone is also incorrect as growth hormone is responsible for growth of the body. Number 4 FSH is the correct option as FSH is follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the sertoli cells which are present within the seminiferous tubules. So the correct answer is option number 4. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 150. In fertile females surge of which hormone occurs twice during a single menstrual cycle? Number 1. Progesterone is incorrect as progesterone is the prominent hormone only during luteal phase as it is secreted by corpus luteum. Number 2. FSH is also incorrect as FSH is responsible for growth of follicle and its surge occurs during follicular phase or proliferative phase. Number 3. LH is also incorrect 
as LH surge occurs just prior to ovulation. Number four, estrogen is the correct option as estrogen surge occurs twice that is during follicular phase as well as luteal phase. So the correct answer becomes option number four. Proceeding to the next question students. 